Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, showing up to bat every single every single week. If you want uh, the coins that you want, if you want the business that you want, uh, if you want the collection that you want. Uh, we're driving three and a half hours or three hours to Waco, Texas this morning. Um, we're going to be seeing the same dealers that we always see, but... Uh, if you have consistency though in anything, you'll be successful. And um, I always say that inconsistency is the death of a dream. So uh, we're trying to make our dream, what we what we want things to happen, uh, happen. And so uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. And right now it's five thirty somewhere. But uh, we're working up at five thirty in the morning, making the trip. So stay tuned, we got a lot of things coming. Hey everybody, we just got wrapped up with the uh, with the coin show here in Waco. Uh, not too many dealers, uh, but like I said, when you show up to a coin show, uh, expect anything. Uh, you know, showing up to bat for uh, anything you do in your life is very important. Um, even if you don't get the best result every time, I think that uh, spending the time to be consistent is very important. Um, but let let's. Uh, take you guys once we get home we're going to show you guys everything that we got um, it was a significant amount of coins and all of our coins are going to be available on the website at acousticcollectibles.com so if you need something for your collection um, or just something maybe to uh, invest in uh, during these uncertain times uh, just uh, check out our link below uh, we have a lot of great things for sale so we just arrived home, uh, it's 8 o'clock at night, so we've been going for over 12 hours. If you hear our dogs in the background, I'm sorry, but there's about 9 dealers at the Waco show today and we found some amazing stuff. Uh, Barber halves, pennies, dollars, rattlers, even some raw coins. Um, so we're going to show you guys everything that we got today. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more of a variety, but like I said earlier in the video, when you show up to bat, um, expect to either hit something or fall flat on your face. And I think when we uh, swung up, uh, got ourselves up to bat today, uh, we hit a home run with a lot of this stuff. So let me take these upstairs to the light box and show you guys. Alrighty guys, just made it up to the light box and the show, like I said, was awesome. Like a whole, there was not very many dealers, but there was a lot of nice coins. And I wanted to just take a deep dive with you guys right now, show you exactly about what we got today. Um, uh, we're gonna go back to uh, the whole saying, uh, stepping up to bat. You gotta step up to bat every single week. You gotta step up to bat every single day that you do something like this. I mean, in terms of being a coin dealer, or a business owner, or being consistent in school. Um, and what I've learned is that consistency, like we were talking about, um, it really can build a dream, and inconsistency can be a death of a dream, or a uh, death of something that you uh, envision for yourself. But uh, I want to take a first jump into this coin. This is the 1880S Great MS65 in the soapbox. Uh, the yellow holders people are not too uh, of a fan of, but... Um, with these soap boxes, people really do like them because of their old feely type of stuff. 
Um, there's nice rim toning on this coin as well, and I love the clean cheek. It's a really beautiful coin. Uh, Mr. Blake with Royal Coins Houston sold me this at the show. I am very thankful to have Blake and Christy as uh, friends of mine. Up next, we're going to show off another one that Christy and Blake gave us today. This is an 1881S. Uh, this one's also super flashy as well. A little bit more chatter in the fields, but um, has a nice accent um, around the rim. Uh, I do love the luster on this coin, though. It, it is beaming off this beautiful coin. Um, but if you hold these two up, I love the pair. I love the pair together. I think it's a nice uh, sale together, you know, ADS. Um, 81s. I think the same collector uh, picked these up and then sold them to Blake uh, later on. But a uh, really beautiful pair. Up next, uh, speaking of stuff that we run into, um, this is a 93o uh, Barber Half Dollar. Uh, I have a collector that's been trying to build a set and not break the bank. And so sometimes it's good to find uh, cheaper holders with uh, Barber Half Dollars that aren't crazy in pricing. Um, this coin's pretty nice, you know, it runs you about 100, 110 bucks, which is uh, not too bad for a barber with this date. I think it's a better date. Um, but let me show you the, the, the collection that I was talking about. Uh, I actually went to a table today and uh, I was blown away by all the stuff that uh, I saw at the table. And I started picking it up like crazy. But <laughs> this is what was at the table. So and I sold this all the same guy as soon as I got home. Got the 1913S G4. We got the 1908S G4. 1911S G6. 1905S G4. 1902S G6. 1907S G4. 1909S G4. 1915S G6. Like, all these coins were there today, which I thought was pretty cool. Affordable barber halves in holders and uh, wow so those sold out pretty quickly and uh, let me show you guys a few other oddballs we found today um, this is an 1881s graded ms66 dimple rainbow no it's not uh, so whenever you see holders like this on ebay or anywhere else i would completely disregard this i would grade this coin as 64 business strike um, with with toning on it nothing rainbow in it at all uh, but I got this from an affordable price. It was a pretty quick flip. Um, it's it's just a nice Morgan in the a nice Morgan in some plastic, you know. Um, so I'm not really commanding too much of a premium for this kind of stuff. But I thought it was pretty unique. Up next, we're gonna go a little bit back in time with this 1923 uh, piece dollar. I think it's in like a two point or like a 3.0 slab, something like that. Uh, this slab actually breaks in two, um, which I think thought was pretty cool. Uh, the luster on this is really nice. I think 64 is an accurate grade for the coin. Um, but hey, you might want to send it to CAC or do something fun like that and for one of these videos. Who knows? Um, but it's a nice original coin, and it was holded a pretty long time ago. I thought it was holded like in the uh, in the 80s, which I thought was unique. So um, I really like this coin. Um, it's an affordable coin for someone that is trying to build a set with these holders or just someone entering the hobby so uh, I like picking up that kind of stuff just because of the holders and everything um, up next I want to show you guys a few other things here um, we bought actually a bunch of common date stuff from Blake and Christie so which I thought was pretty unique um, we well it's not, it's not too unique nothing unique about it actually um, they had a collection coming to the shop and they're like, hey Drew, we want to we wanted to ask you first about these, and I was like, sure. So um, they gave me a great price on them, uh, 1882 AU58, 87 and 63, 89 and 63. I'm sorry, all these slabs are falling. Um, 85 and 62, uh, 1904 and 63, and 830 and 62. Um, and so what I've been, I've been buying pretty high price coins as of, as of recently. And so what I've been trying to do instead is find things that are a little bit more affordable like and and things that you guys might like as well. So um, a lot of the stuff on the website is over $200 or at least over $100. And a lot of these coins are under $100. So if you guys ever want to go to the website, uh, check out 
uh, anything that we have posted on any video. It's uh, AcousiaCollectibles.com. Um, we get work everything through PayPal, so you guys don't have to worry about anything. Either if it doesn't show up, your money's completely insured on uh, my end and PayPal's end. So, um, a beautiful group of Morgans. Um, once again, Blake get, did a wonderful deal for us, and I, I can't thank him enough. I'm going to be jumping into a few harder date stuff. This is an 1889O, graded MS64 by PCGS. Um, the luster on this coin is a little lacking, but as you can see, the cheek is extremely clean. And, uh, you know, 65 grade on a coin like this is like $2,500 retail. But I think that the reverse, uh, kind of those hits in the fields really held this back from a 65 grade, sadly. And all this kind of distracting color on the outside of the coin. But an 1889O I've actually never purchased before, but I thought, um, hey, you know, better late than never. And uh, the dealer, his name's Jack Copeland, actually in San Antonio, he uh, sold me this coin. Um, and uh, he sold it to me for a great price. So um, if you guys need something that's a little bit harder to date, uh, this is a beautiful coin. Um, and I can't wait to ship it out to one of you guys or maybe a, a few of my customers um, on different platforms. But 1889.0 is just not an everyday thing. Speaking of not an everyday thing, this my brother actually picked up today. So. Uh, He's been doing a lot of things in terms of finances and um, in terms of you know, driving and doing a lot of stuff that I, I'm not really a fan of. But he actually bought uh, a really high uh, grade uh, key date CC today. This is an 1889 CC graded VF30. Never actually bought one of these before um, in this grade, which was really nice. Um, in case he was asking a dealer about stuff. Um, he had it priced like $125 more than we wanted to pay in case he just walked over and the guy said, hey, I'll take $125 off and, and we, we were sitting around $1,500 and what we wanted to pay. And the dealer ended up taking the offer and uh, we came home with this coin. And what was crazy about it is that we took a little picture in the car like this, posted on Instagram, had a bunch of people interested, and then we sold it before we got home. So you guys out there that want to build your social media presence you know go on Facebook or do Instagram um, it's really beneficial because you just get so many more connections on there too as well as on uh, YouTube YouTube has uh, been really great for us lately and I'm so thankful for your guys' support um, if you guys like this coin you know make sure to leave a like I don't know this coins pretty awesome so uh, I'm gonna set this one down and show you guys just a few more towards the end of the show uh, we picked up this 1909 VDB, that's uh, graded 63 brown. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I said, is whole fillers for somebody. And uh, brown is, I mean, I don't, I don't see too many of these in brown. A lot of people just find these in red brown or red. Um, but I, when I was leaving the show today, I was like, hey, maybe I'll just give an offer to this guy and see what he says. And he took my offer on it and... Um, this is headed out to uh, one of my uh, dealer buddies. His name is Trey. So he's a cool guy. And, uh, you know, it's not an everyday thing that I pick up pennies. But when I do, I really do like a coin like this. So uh, let me show you guys. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to show you guys a few more coins. But we actually only have uh, three more coins available today. Um, this is a 1923S. It's a 20, The 23S is a little bit tougher um, uh, with the S mint mark. But going back with the flash, it has a little haziness on uh, the obverse, but I think the flashiness of it uh, still makes up for it. That luster is still beaming through, that little uh, kind of lacklusterness to it. Um, and on the reverse, you also have that, that beaming light off of it as well. And you kind of see a little bit of toning kind of over America. But uh, we're, we're making the Peace Dollar game strong, boys and girls. We are taking uh, the Peace Dollar game by, by storm. We've been selling them out like crazy. Um, a year ago, I, I would, wouldn't even touch a piece dollar with a 10-foot pole, but I've really started to jump in full heels, or full force, I don't know, I, I don't know the saying, but uh, this coin is really something that uh, someone might collect, and they like this blast white feel to it. And I thought this met uh, the requirement of what you guys might want, or somebody that really hunts down these blast whites, but very nice coin. What's been doing really great for me lately, as we've been talking about, is the 1921 
uh, Mercury Dime. So the 1921 Mercury Dime, um, 21D Mercury Dime, 42 over 1, and 16D. Um, those have been doing really great. The market's been very hot on those. So I, like I said, you guys should watch out for that. Um, I picked this one up at the show today. Uh, make make a few bucks on it. I think I'll make like 10 bucks on it if I'm lucky. Um, but stuff like this, you know, when key, when they start to get to like fair 12 or... Or no, I'm sorry, fine 12 or fine 15, like they start getting like 300 or, you know, 200 bucks. And I just, for most people, that's that's not an option for them. And so stuff like this, I, I pick up in a heartbeat because it's a better date and super affordable. Like 50 bucks for something like this. You're paying for the plastic, the authentication, and you're also paying for a nice coin that you might want for your collection. So really, uh, really happy to ever find some stuff like this. It's It's a beautiful coin. Last but not least, we are going to be showing you guys this uh, 1896O, great AU55. Um, 96Os have been crazy for me lately. Uh, I have many dealers that say I'd pay you top dollar for 96Os. So if you guys ever run into any, um, there's a few people that would like them. And I also uh, pay people as well for coins. Um, so if you guys ever want to reach out, all my info is below. I um, would be happy to talk to you guys anytime, either on the phone, uh, via email, even in the comment section, anything that you guys would prefer or uh, have the most comfort in. But I want to thank you guys for watching uh, this part of the video and checking out these coins. Let's let's take a little panorama though, real quick. Pull this out of the pull this out of the desk and show you guys. So, Waco Shell was a success. Whole lot of nice coins. Um, but let's roll it to the outro, guys. Um, thank you guys again for. All the constant support lately. You guys have been awesome. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the coins that we ran into today. Like I said, it was a really great show. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video and the haul that we found, please leave a like. Um, if you guys did learn something new um, and want to learn more about the coin space, please uh, subscribe to our channel. We post videos every single week. Um, and uh, if you guys uh, would like to as well, uh, if you want to comment what which one was your favorite coin and uh, did the tips that we give you today or the insight that we give you uh, help you and your coin collecting experience. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Uh, this has been Drew with Kusha Collectibles and I will see you in the next video.